a piece of British medical history for Carly Barton and her consultant. Carly's thought to be the first person legally prescribed cannabis-based medicine in the UK. She's paid two and a half thousand pounds of her own money for the three-month prescription from a private specialist to treat her chronic pain. I'm over the moon. I'm overjoyed that this, um, that this has happened, that this piece of paper exists. It will mean that I am not concerned about having to take consume my medicine when I'm out the house. I don't, I'm not going to have to look over my shoulder to worry if there's police there, security there, anybody that I might offend. Thanks to the change in the law a month ago, Carly can have up to a gram a day of two different kinds of cannabis flower, taken with a vaporizer. Her specialist says it reduces her pain and spasms within 15 minutes. As a result of this, he told Sky News, she's able to be no longer bedbound for days on end and can resume daily activities and is able to hold down a job. As a result of better control of her pain, there's a positive effect in her well-being and quality of life. But asked about the efficacy of the system for prescribing cannabis-based medicine, Dr McDowell said it's drawn out at the present time, which is concerning. Campaigners want GPs to prescribe the drugs to make things simpler. But not all medics agree. At the moment, GPs don't know enough about cannabis-based me medication, and I think it's going to take some time for them to feel really confident. At the moment, we're still slightly feeling our way because we don't have anything like the history of prescribing medicinal cannabis products that we do with opiates. So this is the oil itself. I make this with um, what they call ABB. Which... Earlier this year, Carly showed Sky News how she made her own cannabis oil from illegal plants. Though she's now thrilled to be on the right side of the law, she says the steep price tag isn't right. So when her three months are up, she's hoping to get the same prescription, but from an NHS specialist, paving the way for others to follow suit. Lorna Shaddock, Sky News.